In this video, I'm gonna show you how to disable the phantom process killer in Android 12 or 13 and fix Termex errors without the need for any computer or laptop. Let's get started. For those who don't know what the heck is a phantom process in Android 12 and 13. It's a background process limiter that kills the app processes using excessive CPU or system resources. Let's say the parent application starts spawning a child processes of more than 32. If they are found to be using an excessive CPU, the phantom process kicks in and kills the entire app hierarchy. This happens without the consent of the user and the app gets killed automatically, creating a problem for the end user experience. Termex is a well-known application suffering from this background limitation. Now let's take a look at this scenario. Now as you can see, I'm trying to run a Linux operating system using Termex. After starting the VNC server, within a few minutes, the Termex and its deployed processes will be killed automatically. You may see this message in the Termax without actually exiting the shell process yourself. Now, this is kind of annoying and prevents you from running the Linux operating system on a non-rooted Android device. Anyway, to fix this issue, head over to this website and download the latest version of Termax. Make sure the file name says ARM64v8. Now once it's done, go ahead and install it on your phone. Then open Termax and type this command to enable storage permission. Now after that, type this command to choose the repository mirror. Then type pkg update to update the package list. Once it's done, type this command to install the ADB toolkit. Next, head over to the settings application, go to the about page and tap on the build number seven times to activate the developer settings. Now go to the developer settings and look for wireless debugging. Make sure you have connected to your Wi-Fi network before enabling this feature. Then enable wireless debugging. You will see an IP address and port number. Now click on pair device with pairing code. Now using this IP address, port number, and Wi-Fi pairing code, we can pair the current device with ADB. Now as you can see, I'm running both applications in a split screen view, and I have connected my phone with a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. Now inside Termex, type ADB, pair, followed by your IP address, port number, and the Wi-Fi pairing code. Now as you can see, it has successfully paired, under the wireless debugging section, you can see the pair devices. It's time to connect to the ADB shell using this IP address and port number. In Termex, type ADB, connect, followed by your IP address and port number. And that's it, we have connected to ADB shell. Now inside Termex, if I type ADB devices, it will list out the connected devices. Now head over to my blog post and scroll down a bit to see the list of commands to be executed. 
copy these three commands one by one and paste them inside the Termix application. And that's pretty much it. This is how you disable Phantom Process Killer in Android 12 or 13 without the need of using a computer. Let me know what do you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. This has been KSKRIL. I will see you in the next one.